With the news of this accident, what steps can be taken to ensure cyclists and drivers share the road safely? It's a question Fox 47's Noah Kaplan looked into a little more today. Noah, he joins us now. What did you find? That's right, Zach and Cammie. Well, the main takeaway is that it's better to be conservative on the roads than to believe you always have right of way, even if you do. I don't think there's any drivers out there that want to purposefully clobber a bicyclist. But mistakes can be made, and sometimes there's inattentiveness. Bicycle safety. A hot topic after a fatal crash in June leads to a misdemeanor charge for one driver. But you're mixing it up with 3,000, 8,000 pounds of, of vehicles, and here you are riding a 40-pound bicycle. The accident happened at the intersection I'm standing in front of right now, between 60th Avenue Southwest and Country Club Road Southwest. A cyclist and a truck driver collided here, and the cyclist was pronounced dead on the scene. Though there are stop signs coming both directions on 60th Avenue, the cars moving along Country Club Road tend to move at very high speeds. But you did have a responsibility to yourself to, to get out of that situation when you had the chance. Paul Myron ran a bike shop in Rochester for 36 years. He says the biggest danger to bikers, arrogance. They have to keep in mind that they do have rights, but they, they do have to use good common sense and they can find themselves dead right if they're not careful. Rochester Police Department also shared a statute regarding biker safety, quote, whenever it is necessary for the driver of a motor vehicle to cross a bicycle lane adjacent to the driver's lane of travel to make a turn, the driver shall first signal the movement, then drive the motor vehicle into the bicycle lane prior to making the turn, but only after it is safe to do so. The driver shall then make the turn consistent with any traffic markers, buttons, or signs, yielding the right of way to any vehicles or bicycles approaching so close thereto as to constitute an immediate hazard. Again, uh, it's one thing to be right, and, and to be dead right is, is not a good thing. Aaron encourages bikers to get out and enjoy the fresh air, but it is important to stay safe on the roadways. He says everyone needs to proceed with caution, especially bikers. Back to you.